The lighting project that we've created in Natick is just so unique to the Metro West. It's not something that is often done in the smaller town. You've seen it in Boston. You've seen it in areas that are, you know, more populated. What we were hoping that this project would achieve would basically just make people stop and look. That's cool. It's just so intricate. On the Summer Street side of the Clark's Block building, a dazzling light show now unfolds on a nightly basis. Pamela Hirsch of Luminarts in Boston found inspiration for her video projections just a few yards away. The content projected on the side of the Clark's Block building was inspired by the design elements that dress the inside of the old concert hall in the same building. From ornate stenciling on the walls to the medallions on the ceiling, where the chandeliers hung from. Other elements that are featured in the projection are the chandeliers themselves, including some of the details at the bottom of the fixtures, a woodworking piece that used to be part of the backdrop of the stage, and all of the elements on the ceiling painting. The lighting project that is on 8 Court Street at the Natick Center Cultural District offices is showcases art from the local Walnut Hill School. These are extremely talented students in the high school ages who are there studying the visual arts and we feel so honored to be able to showcase them. And yet another new source of light shines on downtown Natick from above Main Street. The Natick Center sign over Main Street is definitely one that I think a lot of people have probably recognized the most. It really is the showcase, the entryway to downtown. You know, it's, it's welcoming. It's a big hello when you come into town. The projection lighting project that is across Summer Street is something that is just absolutely stunning and magical. It showcases certain elements from historic Natick, paying homage to what we were, what we are, and who we will be. And that just is so meaningful, I think, to all of us here in Natick.